Well, hi, everybody. Welcome to Nowy's Dive Team Report. I'm your host, Greg Martin. You know, we have been talking a lot about the DEMA show. It's kind of like the, the Academy Awards, I guess, of, of the diving industry. It gets underway this next week. Nowy has a very robust set of presentations scheduled during the week of the show, two of those being presented by Tech Clark. And they are lead the culture of change and sell the culture of change. We're going to ask talk uh, tech about uh, those and talk a little bit about it. Tech is a Nowy instructor, has his own business called Scuba Guru, and I guess he does a lot of other things. Tech, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks for having me. This is awesome. Glad to have you along. You have your own podcast too, so it's like a podcaster to podcaster. It is. It is exactly. We we kind of know the the deal here and. Uh, it's uh, it's fun to be on one. I'm I'm always on the other end of it. I'm on the receiving end, so it's nice to be interviewed. So thank you very much. Well, I'm you're humbled. welcome. <laughs> I'm I'm glad I could you know help make that uh, part of your day. So thank you. Yeah. What do you do as far as a, a day job? I, I'm reading down through your bio here, and I don't know which part to start on. Ah, well, um, I am currently the Associate Director for Aquatics and Scuba Diving at Nova Southeastern University here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Nice, nice. Yeah, I was put on hold and I was listening to the hold message and it uh, sounds like there's uh, quite a program going on there. But you're also, uh, you, you also do a lot of other things. You're, you're involved in uh, free diving and again, you do your own podcast and y- your bio just reads like something, I, I should be bowing down to you, I think. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. I just, I just remain busy, maybe too busy. Uh, but, uh, you know, just, you know, when you have a passion for our sport and a passion that just kind of overflows, it, it seems to just overflow and effervesce into different areas. And so that's kind of what's happened. So, uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've kept my hands in a lot of different areas. Cool. I, I I was reading through here, though, and it looks like your grandfather was the one that developed this uh, love of the oceans and diving for you? Yeah, he did. He took me uh, fishing all the time, and he was an avid fisherman, and we would go deep sea fishing. But um, every time a fish would be brought up, I would just marvel at it. And I kind of didn't like seeing it you know, go through its end of life. I was always fascinated with what is it like when it's down there? What is it like when it's living its life? And that from a child was this burning desire that wanted me to get in the water and and see all those fish in their natural environment. And that was what started it. That's interesting because uh, I have a very similar uh, founding of of my own. My My grandfather was a fisherman, used to take me fishing. Yep. Same, same kind of deal. No kidding. That's yeah, great. it it really yeah. is, and and developing that uh, love of I I was a Midwest boy, so I was you know landlocked, but uh, freshwater, saltwater didn't make any difference. The fascination is what's it like down there? Yes, yeah, doesn't matter. You're still an underwater explorer. Absolutely, and the first time I ever saw uh, a fish uh, on their nest of eggs, I, I was just absolutely fascinated by that. Mm. Yeah. So you're getting ready to do a couple of presentations at the DEMA show coming up this next week. Uh, lead the culture of change and sell the culture of change. Sound like very similar titles. Uh, talk a little bit about that. Sure. Um, lead the culture of change was a presentation I did out at IQ, and um, they graciously invited me to come back and uh, do the presentation. And then it's it's a counterpart presentation, sell the culture here at the DEMA show. And so um, lead the culture is where we really need to understand that a culture is one of the strongest parts of a business. It's the strongest identifier of an organization. And when, you know, you look at leadership or leadership books or podcasts or, you know, any of the gurus that are out there in leadership, they, they talk about just the importance of culture and workplace culture. And so what, we're doing here in this presentation is showcasing the importance of a culture but more importantly we're getting to kind of that root the root is the leader of a culture the root is that influencers and the influencers are who can shape a culture they can make a culture they can change a culture and so because of that we want to bring this kind of 
resurgence that now he's going through, this wonderful renaissance that, that we're all seeing and we're all feeling. But at the same time, in our communities, our dive centers and the industry, we may be a little countercultural because of the way that others are marketing or the way that others are delivering services or, or whatnot. And so really what we need to look at are the elements of being a leader that can change a culture. And it starts by changing individual cultures, individual workplaces, individual dive centers, independent instruction, uh, universities and colleges, wherever the dive programming is, that is a culture that can make a big impact in a bigger culture. So the first presentation is talking about leading, and it's really going to focus on the leader and leadership attributes that it takes to change a culture. And then the sell the culture presentation is the benefits of it. It's the product of what happens when you get this right. What happens when you make the change? And I'm going to be going over the elements of how to make a change. So once we've identified the leaders, we're going to identify what are the foundational tenets, what are the values, what are the things that that leader wants to be known for. And then we're going to show how to implement those how to put them in place in, in any area, in every area of your operation, such that it then creates a tangible culture change, one that you will be known for and that the consumer will then know you for. And that's where sell the culture comes in because once you get it right, all of a sudden consumer behavior starts to change based on your culture. And that's when the sweet sauce is there. And that's when people go, aha, this clicked. And so those are the two presentations that I'll be given. And they're very valuable for anybody that's, uh, you know, just sitting there struggling with, hey, I've got this com competition down the street. How do I fight against the Internet? How do we uh, maintain our high standards when we're faced with this? I mean, that's all the things that we're going to be bringing up. And I think that that's just centric to NAWI. Well, and it's it's very relevant at this point in time, because as you mentioned, there are so many people out there that are asking those questions. How do I compete? Whether it's with the internet, whether it's with the competition, whether it's with yourself, or even a, another sport. Uh, we've, we've found that in a lot of cases. Exactly. You know, uh, uh, diving is just one of those things that, you know, we think it's great because we're involved in it, but somebody else may may prefer to be, you know, a, a climber or a zipliner or whatever the case happens to be. That's right. And in the presentations, I bring up other industries, and I also bring up successful businesses that have done this. Uh, you know, great organizations that have made changes from the ground up, and those changes have been remarkable. And now when we think of these organizations, we think of the cultural change. And a lot of the times that cultural change was made by one person, the founder or the biggest influencer in that company. And so when we look at who's coming to the DEMA show, that's the influencers. These are our dive center owners. These are our independent instructors. These are the directors of dive programs. And so we want to be able to say, hey, Here's how to empower the influencers to create change. Sounds like uh, that's one session or two sessions that uh, everyone that is involved in uh, the dive industry need to be attending. There are a lot of great sessions that Nowi has prepared. There's a long, long list of, of sessions all week long, uh, just two of them, uh, lead and sell the culture of change with Tech Clark. You want to make sure and, and mark those off uh, of, of ones that you don't want to miss. And uh, unfortunately, Tech, I'm not attending DEMA this year, so I'm going to miss. Oh. Uh, you'll have to just send me the presentation. That's good. Yes, I'll be happy to. <laughs> okay. I do have the one question. Uh, you've talked about Nowi a bit uh, as far as the, the renaissance with Nowi. Why Nowi in the first place? Oh, <laughs> Well, that's an incredible question. In fact, you stole my thunder. That's one of the first questions I ask in the presentation. Um, and so this is, I think, one of the most pivotal questions. I look at this and I, and I, and I feel this from 
other NAWI members and professionals is that there is something that is so different about NAWI, and it is based on this educator's philosophy and this piece that resonates with people where they say and believe wholeheartedly that education is the heart of understanding, is the heart of comfort, is the heart of enjoyment. And that is what now he has always done, has brought that to the table. And so I think that you have people that this message and the mission of Nawi resonates with, and they do not want to give that up. And they want desperately to figure out how to keep a mission and a passion that is so dedicated to scuba education and dive education, but how does it fit in the modern culture? How does it fit in the context of what the rest of the industry is doing? And how do we persuade the consumer that it is about the education? And recently I just did a vlog where I go over consumerism and how our industry has shifted from being about training and that people came to get trained to dive. Now people are looking at the sea card as a commodity, and that commodity is being, quote unquote, sold on the market in this Amazon sense of cheap and quick. And so the educator is up against cheap and quick. Now that's not only our dive organizations, but that's also higher education in general. You know, here at Nova Southeastern University, there are competitors that are doing things differently. And so we have to look at this. And that is a, a big piece of where I believe that this renaissance that now is having is that people are saying, wait, there's more, there's better. And that's why I'm just a big, big fan of beyond the standard, you know, and I just love that's the motto of my website and everything go beyond the standard because I believe that there are dive professionals that feel that they don't need to be limited. They don't need to be restricted. They've got more to offer. They've got more to teach. They've got more to pour into a student. And when they see what that product is, that student coming out as a truly competent, qualified, and comfortable diver, now that is the passion. And so that's why I think this is the heart of it. That's why I think Nawi. And when you say why Nawi, that's 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 my answer. Well, and I didn't mean to steal your thunder, but that's a heck of an answer. Yeah. <laughs> we talk more about it. Yeah, so it's not all of the answers. So, yeah, all there's, right. there's more to come. Yeah, more to come. And that's always the way to leave them. Leave them with just a little bit more. Okay, but wait, there's more. So <laughs> Right. <laughs> well, I, I do want to uh, point people in the direction of uh, your website, scubaguru.com. And I, I'd love to come back at some point, Tech, and talk basically that I know we don't have enough time today and we wanted to talk about the presentations but if if you would have me I'd love to come back and uh, talk about scuba guru at some point oh absolutely would love that sounds great well if you haven't made your uh, reservations yet get them uh, be sure and check out the schedule for Naui and uh, the the DEMA presentations if uh, you're going to DEMA I'm Call me and tell me what it's like this year. I, I'm, not, I'm not getting a chance yeah. to go. But uh, do check out Tech Clark's uh, presentations, all the NAWI presentations at DEMA this year. And uh, as always, if you like what you hear on the podcast, please subscribe on uh, Apple Podcasts and Google Play. Uh, love to hear your comments. And as always, love to have you in the diving industry. If you want to learn about diving, check out your local dive shop Nowie Dive Shop, or check out Nowie.org. Tech, thank you so much for spending some time with us today. Oh, thank you so much. This has been a lot of fun being on the other side of it, and uh, thanks for being such a, a great host, Greg. I really appreciate it. All right, and we're going to come back and talk about Scuba Guru in the future. So uh, good luck at the presentation. We'll talk soon. Thanks so much. And that's this episode of Nowie's Dive Team Report. I'm Greg Martin. Thank you for listening. I'll see you underwater. Underwater.